That's what you're known as now, the controversial humorist. I need a, I need a nickname. Yeah. I don't want to blame you, but the day after you told that joke, uh, North Korea aimed their missiles this way. And I don't know. <laughs> Wow, they really didn't yeah, like it. No, they didn't like the joke. All right, let's talk about, first of all, how the last few days have been going for you since you've been on the show and you told the joke. Okay, well, I'll tell you, I've, I, in the last couple of days, I've been thinking about the joke a lot, and I find even more that I love about it. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'll tell you a couple more things, not just the punchline. Now, it's just... It's expanded to... There's so much I love about it. First of all, the guy with the giant peaches ahead, mm -hmm. he's standing there, and somebody comes up to him and says, you got a giant peach for a head. What's up with that? And he says, funny story, actually, as if no one's ever brought this up before. Yes. <laughs> That's hilarious. I agree. Right there. Yes. Right? Yeah. The second thing is, he's got three wishes. Now, a giant peach for a head is a very specific ask. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't that be his first wish? Exactly. <laughs> right? Exactly. And I realized there's somebody to feel bad for. You know, every story needs to... You need to feel sympathy for somebody. You mm -hmm. know who really loses out in this story? Mm. Mila Kunis. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because not only is she married to a guy who has a giant peach for a head... Right. He's never home. <laughs> you know? He's just standing out there on the street. Uh, you'd, be, you'd be home with Mila if that was the case. If you had a giant peach for a head... <laughs> and, you ha and you were a millionaire... <laughs> right. You'd be at home in your giant house sleeping with Mila Kunis. That's right. I'm glad you've had time to think about all the different layers of funny for that joke. Ellen, it's so layered. Yeah. All right, so... so. <laughs> I think it's funny, and when it aired, Portia was not here the day that you were here, so she saw it at home, yeah. and she thought it was the most hilarious joke. She thought it was hilarious. So that's, th there's somebody that's on your side. I okay. think it's hilarious, and I mean, obviously, the reason it's hilarious is because what a crazy wish that that would be, and right. that's the punchline, because, and like you said, like, it's a funny story, and it's not a funny story. It was just a wish. Um, yeah. So let's... Um... <laughs> You gotta ask yourself, why would anybody want that? Right. And you yet, see? that is the punchline yeah. of the joke, because okay. you think it's gonna be some screw up, but that was the whole wish for him. All right, so let's talk about, let's, let's look at the graph and see what the voting was. <laughs> All right. We have. We now have a peach for a head. Now, all of a sudden, I have the giant peach That's for right. a head. That's right. It's, it's comedy on top of comedy. Okay. All right, so, and you can see the results. Most people thought it was stupid and funny. 55%, 24% uh, thought it was uh, funny, 20%. So more people thought it was stupid and funny. Okay. And, uh, all right, and so we have positive comments and we have very uh, angry comments, too. <laughs> A lot of people, uh, like you said, it was polarizing. Linda uh, loved the joke and love you, Ellen. Thank you, Linda. Uh, Trish Kaloff said, great joke, Matthew. I love anti-jokes. Now, let me tell you something. Trish gets it. <laughs> All right, Ellen? <laughs> you are so... She does... It's an anti-joke. She gets it. All right, it. this... I think you should read this one, because this is... I don't even under... I think we should vote on this right here. This one's a little perplexing. <laughs> I'm just proud of my use of the word perplexing. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Love your show. You make me LOL. <laughs> so much so that my husband thinks I'm nuts. He just never sees anything funny on TV, I guess. Oh, well, about halfway through, by the way. <laughs> oh, well, since the day Daddy brought home the idiot box, I felt it was speaking to me, and I've always talked back. Keep it real, Ellen. <laughs> You do great work. Yeah. I think we need to vote on that, whatever that was. Yeah. The and television is speaking to her, but you need to keep it real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I want to know who Daddy is who brought the idiot box home. <laughs> well, I don't know what that is. Okay, so then uh, some people were angry. Oh, you, uh, okay. Uh, Matthew is a funny guy, but that joke was the stupidest joke I've ever heard. Wow. <laughs> Amelia Bieber says, it was a joke, sounds more like a weird sentence. <laughs> Amelia, 
doesn't get it. <laughs> All right, this one uh, is uh, Jan Boodle, I believe, or Boudel. I regret not being, Amer I'm not American. I wish to understand the joke so much. <laughs> She'll get there. Right. She'll get there. All right, Nancy Paul says, Matthew, this joke... Oh, this was very interesting yeah. to me. Nancy Paul said, Matthew, this joke was borderline adult joke. <laughs> Not a good joke at all. I thought you had better taste and know when it is appropriate to tell certain jokes. <laughs> Clean jokes only on Ellen. Nancy. <laughs> What are, you ta what are you talking about? This is, this is not a dirty joke. Where is her mind that she would think a giant peach head is some dirty joke? I don't... <laughs> Nancy, it's not a dirty joke. And then someone else says, I'm trying to figure out if this joke was meant to be dirty. All I know is I respect Nancy Paul, but I don't want to live in Nancy Paul land. <laughs> She, she heads down. All right, well, so, uh, yeah, it was very, like you, you said, it was polarizing. Yeah. And now I understand you have a new joke for us, so yeah. we can vote on this joke yeah. as well. I have a new joke. Uh, you know, because we can't, this can't end. No. It's too much fun. <laughs> no. Uh, so this is a similar joke. 50% of the people I tell this joke to laugh, and 50% are in Nancy Paul land. <laughs> so, this guy, he's standing on the streets of New York, and he's screaming at the top of his lungs, puppets. <laughs> puppets, 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 puppets. Guy walks up to him and says, how's business going? And the guy goes, business? <laughs> Get ready to vote. <laughs> What's your initial response? It's stupid. <laughs> the other one was funny. This is just plain, just stupid. Just plain stupid. But I want everybody's feedback. We've set up a phone line. You can call and tell us what you think. It's 818-977-9388. All right? And call and let us know what you think. Personally, and don't be influenced by me, stupid. <laughs> that doesn't set us up in, on a good... <laughs> You see, because he's no, just it crazy. It, I, well, yes. He's just a yes. crazy person. Yes. It's, you can't just call anything a joke. That is not. <laughs> All right, Matthew Perry, everybody. We'll be right Thank back. You.